Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh, and Wondershare Filmora 15 is here with a bunch of new features which are truly exciting and very, very handy. Today, in this tutorial, we will be learning about the new pen tool with which I have created the video in the beginning. So, let's get started. The main purpose of the pen tool is, of course, draw a line which can be a straight line or a curved line. For the shooting star, we will draw a line here, click the starting point, then put the end point here. You can make it curved as you wish, just like that. To end drawing, double click on your mouse pointer or you can click the backspace in your keyboard. Now with this new pen path, you can do a lot more than just this line. First of all, you can change the line style with this preset effects and these are very beautiful. You can choose the one that will go with your project. Now you can modify these preset effects like you can change the radius. You can also zoom the start node and also the end node. If you notice, you can apply keyframes in all these modifications. So the creative possibilities with this pen tool is immense. You can change the color if you want as well. Different other parameters can also be adjusted like the intensity of this preset effect, the external light intensity as well as light density and also the core light intensity, core optical density as well. So modify the line as per your requirement like I am trying to create a shooting star video. So I am modifying the light as per my requirement. Now this is the most important part, the trim path. This will help you create the animation. If I move the start bar, if you notice the video, the starting point of the preset effect is actually moving along the path. You can do the same for the end point and there are keyframe options which you have to use. I will come to that. Finally, the offset can be modified. Now. At the bottom, as you can see, there is an option called path follow. So you can link an object from the presets from the timeline or maybe you can import from your computer. These are the preset items you can use in your videos. Let me show you how I created this video. Since there is no preset for the star, we will actually import from my computer. That is a transparent picture of a star. Finally, click link. Now, if you notice, the star has been added to the video. Let's resize it to match with the other stars. With normal keyframe animation, you can move objects in a straight line. But with this pen tool, we can make the star move along the path, which can be straight, curved or any shaped. So first add keyframes to the starting point of the end and start then move the playhead to the ending point and then move the end point at 100% and add another keyframe which will be automatically applied actually. So the animation is done just like that. So this is one of the many uses of the new pen tool. So creating animations, special effects, everything is very, very easy. You get more control over the path. We want to also want the trail of the star to fade out. So how to do that? Let's start from the beginning of the timeline. We will add a keyframe at the start option, then move the playhead. Then instead of uh, setting the start bar at 100%, we will set it at let's say 60, 70% and that will do it. Let me show you the output. So the end point ends at the end of the timeline, but the start point is actually ending at 61.98% in this example. So that is how you create the trail. The more you use this pen tool, the more you will understand the logic and how to actually use this tool to create awesome animations in your videos. Finally, I added some sound effects and this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you on the next tutorial.